We've done the dominant tackle, now we're going to look at most tackles in a game, which are basically a 50-50 uh, split between defence and offence where it's still a rook to be won. So Benetti's going to take the ball and this time you're going to do everything you can to keep him up and you're going to do everything you can to play the ball. Okay? Yeah? Let's go. Keep him up, keep him up, keep him up, keep him up. Okay. One of the big problems I see, quite often stay in that situation for the boy. One of the big problems I see in most situations is straight away see only got into a chest position there so he's actually struggling for for some form when it comes to wrestling secondly without me even prompting him he's ended up on this side of the play the ball and that's something in his tackle technique and you'll see when we do our individual stuff to see only that on one shoulder it sort of becomes a bit more passive so he's ended up spinning round to this side of the play the ball PJ's in the dominant position so these two men have got to communicate to each other as much as they can the other thing is the third defender might be in too, but we'll just talk with the two defenders first. You two don't talk to each other and try and wrestle with Panetta without talking to each other. And you go that way and see only you go that way. Go, try and play the ball. Stop, stop. What they actually did there, because they didn't communicate, they actually wrestled their force against each other. So all that's happening is he's actually getting a little bit of a breather because these two are doing all the, all the effort. So the rule of thumb I always apply to this situation is if you end up on this side of the play the ball like Sioni, you become a puller. You pull. If you're on this side, you push. Okay? So let's do that again. But this time, you pull, and you push, and you're talking to each other. So you're in control. You say, I'm pulling, and Benetti, you try and play the ball. Three, two, one, go! Push, 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 push. Okay? So now, the rook control situation, because Sioni has acknowledged he's on that side of the ball, they're both putting their force into the same direction. So that's a real key coaching component. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Now all of a sudden, Benetti's not dominating as much with many rooks. What I want you to do though is both acknowledge, look how stood up you are. You're not getting any power, so low and control, shoulders in. I reckon we can throw him over the canal over there, okay? Yeah. Get lower, get lower, get lower, that's it. And now Sioni, this time, if you're the third man in, you go in and help him too. Okay? If you're the third man in, go in and help him too. Go. Good, good, good. Okay. Away, 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 away. Good. And then, then we go into the floor plan, yeah? Okay? Now let's do it all again, and this time get yourselves to marker from the 50-50 situation. Go. Get in, get in, good, 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 get lower, sucker. Good, off, Sioni. Third man in, always first off, squeeze. You're too loose, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. See how loose you were when you came up? Keep over him tight, get up with him under your control, okay? Go. Good, up, keep him up, pull. Tight, sucker, tight, sucker, squeeze. Third one in, first one off. You off, off. Okay. Hopefully you've seen now some development of how you can really dominate the rook in defence. Just with a couple of subtle changes, the tackle technique and the way you wrestle around the play the ball.